Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is powerful in this place. Glory to God. I want us to just lean into it. I don't want to lean in. I don't want us to disconnect from it. I've told Pastor Nat to just, just please stay. You know, the first thing I want us to do is just a prayer. And the first prayer is this. It's the prayer of the early church. This is stretch forth your hands that signs and wonders may be done in the name of the Son, Jesus. This is what I want to pray for today. Father, let there be apostolic signs and wonders. Listen, there's healing and miracles. Those are not signs and wonders. A sign and a wonder can be healing and a miracle. But what is a sign and a wonder? A sign is whatever makes you wonder. That's what it is. You see it and you begin to wonder. Why do we call them apostolic after the pattern of the apostles? You know, and when I say the apostles, we're not just talking about Bible apostles. The apostles in this land, the apostles in Nigeria. You will hear of stories, you will hear of stories of people like um, Ayo Babalola. Those were apostles. You know, that mighty things were wrought by their hands. I mean, you, someone goes into a place to pray and his knee forms image on the mountain. So we are talking about apostolic. These are, these are more than healings and miracles. These are things that they are signs that even your neighbors say, hey, there is God. That's what we are praying for. We are praying for, ap- somebody say apostolic signs and wonders. That even your business people, I, I, there's a testimony that they were sharing and they said that this woman got pregnant and went back to the village and their grand, the, the grand aunt saw the child and said, who holds this child? He says, me, mama. He said, did you vomit it? He said, mama, why? He said, you should not be able to get pregnant doctors of having a child. He said, who did it for you? Those are apostles. It's not just a miracle. As a businessman, that what apostolic signs and wonders. As a political leader, apostolic signs, things that, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I show you a scripture? <laughs> Praise God. Judges chapter 5 verse 8. Let me show you one scripture. Judges chapter 5 verse 8. Just one minute. Judges chapter 5 verse 20. I want to show you apostolic signs and wonders. Judges chapter 5 verse 20. I want you to read the scripture. Are you ready? One to go. And they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought Exodia. Imagine stars fighting on behalf of human beings. The Bible says they fought from heaven. Where your document is, there will be a fight from heaven. Whatever is contending with the marriage, there will be a fight from heaven. Every voice of cancer, there will be a fight from heaven. Are you ready, sir? Say in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say with me, say in the name of the Lord Jesus. We agree together today that let there be apostolic signs and wonders. Lift up your voices. Let's go ahead and pray, everybody. Let's go ahead and agree together. Let there be apostolic signs and wonders. Oh, yeah. Let them be apostolic signs and wonders. Shadeha, Shadeha, Toda, Shileka, Tash, Tash, Do, Shaban, Topa, Shabe, Duate, Ibrete, Kapash, Tekos, Kanana, Hokalabaya, Esodia, Hokabodia, Shkatena, Shimada, Leskote, Rakita, Topra, Shkapane, Shkena, Sonia, Shkena, Sonia, Shkena, Sonia. Thank you. 
Glory to God. So we're going to start praying. We're going to pray for the sicknesses first. Then I will indulge pastor to, for us to hear three or four testimonies of instant healing. And the reason why is this. So when we pray for the businessmen that cannot see the healing right now, they can have faith that the same thing can happen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to pray for people that have two more in growth. We're going to sing the last song that Pastor Nat sang. Sing it one more time. We're going to pray for people that I'm going to tell the categories. I'm going to pray for people that have two more hand growth and back conditions. Back conditions. There's someone you have a tumor, you have a growth in your private part, and right now it's, it's been healed by the power of God. There's someone, there's, there's a heart condition you have, and you have this abnormal breathing in your heart, and the Lord is healing you already. Yeah. And uh, I see a lot of people that have cases of PCOS. You have all those PCOS issues, and some of you, it's disturbing childbirth. Some of you are not even ready for marriage yet, but you have PCOS, and the Lord is correcting it this evening. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You are more than these. Lust for words, trying to describe. Elohim, Elion, Alishele, we.
If you have a growth or tumor in your body, put your right hand upon your chest. If you have any kind of back condition, put your hands where the back condition is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, I stand upon the finished work of Christ on Calvary. The goodness and the mercy of God that was brought to us by Christ Jesus. And right now, you devil of infirmity that's caused those tumors, those growth, those fibrics, those lumps in their body, those lumps in their bodies, either they're watching online or they're on site and praying for people that have back conditions. In the name of Jesus, you devil of infirmity, loose their body now. In the name of Jesus, come out of their bodies. I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the lumps to go. I command the fiber to go. I command the tumor to go. I command the pains to go. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that has any kind of pain on your body, put your hands there right now. And right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I command the pain to go right now. I ask, go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's someone you have a certain growth in the private area. The Lord has just, the growth has disappeared right now. Glory to God. There's someone, you have this back problem for three years. And um, even to Ben, that's been an issue. The Lord is healing you right now in Jesus' name. There is a lady called Boogie. The Lord is healing you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. This is what I wanted to do. Everything now. We know we just prayed. We pray for back conditions and pains, and we pray for tumors. I wanted to. This is how you know. This is how you check your healing. Yeah, you're going to do what you could not do before, and I'm going to give you about seven minutes, and we're just going to give thanks to God. And if you could not bend, go ahead and bend. If you could not, if you had a part of your body, maybe there was a lump in your breast, you want to excuse yourself, go ahead and check it, because right now the power of God is working all over this place. The power of God is working all over this place. The power of God is working. All over this is there's a lady on my right hand towards the back you have struggled with menstrual i see the problem with the menstrual cycle and the lord is restoring it and making it regular in the name of the lord jesus christ go ahead and do what you could not do before just go ahead go ahead go ahead take the next seven take the next two three minutes go ahead everyone lift up their hands and give him praise and glory if you do not bend go ahead and bend if you have a lump in your body go ahead and do what you could not do before
man, you check your body, the lump is gone. You check your body, you feel better, you can feel the pain there. I want to lift up your right hand above your head. Just lift up your right hand above your head. Wow, look at that. Lift up your right hand above. Look at that, look at that upstairs. Look at that upstairs. Wow, that's awesome. Can I get this one? We have tens and tens of you. But can I get four of you to come up, up, up outside to my right? I want to listen to a testimony quickly. Then I'll pray for everybody. Just four, just four. Just step out of your seats and I will come and share. Just four of you that raise up your hands. Thank you, thank you, my son. Just come out. Just come out, just come. Just, just come out of your seats. Look at that, look at that. That's a, that's a miracle. Look at that, just coming out. Praise God. I want someone upstairs. Just run downstairs. One of them. doing and what the Lord has done because I didn't ask everybody to come up I said just four people we have about ten of them or eight of them here right now with you because we're moving more than that just 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 give the first lady just help me just one minute just one minute praise the Lord hallelujah I was healed of my knee you, I never, never done it. what I could you could never look at that for over many years I can't remember but never wow wow that's the power of God. Somebody shout out and look at that. Look at that. So excited. Tell me, yeah. Praise the Lord. For some time now, I had an accident. I had an accident two weeks back on my leg. And I was you had an accident? Me. Yeah, like I fell okay. two weeks back. And I've been having severe pains on my leg, but now it's gone. And Praise I had back God. pains. And they are all gone. I want them to return all the glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise yeah. the Lord. I heard you call my name Bucky. There's a lady called Bucky. You're healed now. Yeah. And I, I can feel it. I was feel this U.S. The pain was here, but now it's gone. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. I had a serious pain at my abdomen. Yeah. And even last week, I told my manager, please. If we have chance next week that I'm going to do tests. And it has happened before. He has paid me seriously. He come back again. This week. Just this week, so, it was so painful. But now I just touched it. Nothing was there. Praise I God. feel the whole praise thing. God. I couldn't feel the pain. Praise I God. couldn't even feel the lungs. Praise Anything God. again. Praise Say God. glory be to God praise in the God. highest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. I'm so thankful. Oh, if Thank you. Had, praise the Lord. If you have a lump in your breast, I want to ask you in the atmosphere of it, go and check. And it's a private area, you know. People that had to go and check, you'll find out if you can use the restroom. The lump is actually gone. Praise the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Over the years, I couldn't bend, just like the other sister said. I would bend and I would scream. Okay, but today. Wow. It's a miracle. 
miracle, Pastor. This is a miracle. It's a miracle. Fantastic. Thank you, what Jesus. would your husband, are you married? Yes, I am. What would your husband say? He'll be glad. He'll be happy. He'll be so shocked. He'll he, be... Has, he has actually spent a lot of money. My hold kids, on. They are over there. They were like, Mama, you can... I said, yes. Hold on, hold on. What, I want to hear what your kids said. They asked me to come. Mama, you are healed. They're, they're surprised. They're over there. They were like, Mama, you're wow. bending. I said, wow. yeah, I am. Wow. This is lovely. Even the kids know Mama is healed. That is so touching. Praise God. This is a miracle. Yes, ma'am. Praise God. Hallelujah. For years now, I couldn't... Okay. After the prayer, I just tried it again as they said we should stand. Praise I God. Moved from my back. Come. Yes. Something. Hold on. While we're praying, you need to hold the microphone closer to them. Say yes. No. Yes. When you said we should try what you cannot yeah. do, I just, I just did. I called my friend and brought me. I said, ah, ah, something just left my back. I can sit now. She said something left my back. Yes, I'm, I'm, in fact, that is a power a of God. That is a miracle. Praise God. You tell me, my sister, tell me. Praise God. Last day March, I had a very serious illness that was somehow like partial stroke. And ever since then, I recovered, but I, I can say I was not whole because this part of my body was just, it was experiencing some sensations that I could not sleep at night. I always sleep at this side. If I sleep at this side, it's hell. But I'm healed. This place, this finger especially, like touching it like this, gave me serious pain, like serious things before. Hold like, on. Thank God now. So when you recover from this partial stroke, the other side of your body, something was still this wrong. Part, the left, that's the, the right that, part. The right, it's my left, it's your right part, yes. So, is that why you are trying to move that leg? So when you, what happened before? I don't know. Like ever, I recovered, but this part of my body. It's as if it's moving from here to my leg, back up, my head, back up, lying down on it. It's painful. The thing is it's nervous. gone in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. It's gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want us to pray. Then I'm going to hand over to Pastor Nath. Pastor Nath knows how to treat Holy Ghost party all the time. So, and Pastor Wally, it's also nice to see you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. I just want to show you a scripture that I used to pray. Maybe it can help, you know, you. This is a scripture I give to the businessmen in our church. So, <laughs> but the scripture needs explanation. Yeah. It's in Genesis chapter 26, 27, verse 20. I want to explain the scripture so that you can get it. And every real prayer movement prays the word of God that you must always remember that you know the prayer is not going to be based on sensation and emotionalism it's going to be based on the word of god genesis 27 verse 20 because this is a prayer i want to pray about the business people this is what i want to pray about the business people i'm going to pray i'm going to pray one more time for for those because i pray for selected healings i want to really pray for cancers people that have children that have autism cerebral palsy people that have hepatitis b i want to pray for them and also pray for this we just combine it together so this is a story where, where Jacob deceived his father. But Jacob told the lie. And this was the lie. But the reason why the lie was accepted was because you only lie because there's, there's a truth. Is that not true? So for example, um, um, the only reason why I can lie on Pastor Nathaniel or maybe Pastor Wale here and say, ah, Pastor Wale said this, is because Pastor Wale is here. There has to be some form of truth for that lie to be authentic or else we're all stupid. See what Isaac said to his son. And Isaac said to his son, he said, how did this happen so quickly? Why did he get this so fast? And he said, how is it that thou hast found it so quickly? And what did the son say? He said, because the Lord your God has brought it to me. You know, you know, that tells me that, you know why his father did not argue? Because that was something that used to happen to them. There was that understanding that there's something you can go after but there's something that God can bring to you and that's why as soon as he said so do you notice Isaac and I argue again because Isaac understood what he said there is the deal of heaven there's the treasures of the earth you know 
I mean, Pastor Chris is close to me, and sometimes we'll share all this beautiful testimony. I mean, last year was there, we were in a gathering, and he was, I don't know how they got him to come. And right in the gathering, a group of people, about 10 of them, just said, Pastor, you blessed us so much. And they said, We'll give you a house in Atlanta. And I'm like, Is that how they give people a house in Atlanta? The next two days, a group of people walked up to me and said that we couldn't buy a house in Britain, but we bought you a house in Nigeria. And Pastor Chris was right there. It's not something that's not happened. And the reason I'm saying so is this. I know how much I was working, saving. You know, when what you are working and saving for, God brings to you. <laughs> you know, Pastor Chris actually said, oh, when he gave me the house, because of the paper, it's how did you feel? I said, numb. Numb is the word that I had no feeling. Because, you know, when you're in the state of shock, uh-huh. Is this how? And there have been miracles that happened to me. One day we finish the next level prayers. And this guy, see, tomorrow I, do, I can't recognize him if I see him again. Because the guy wore palm sleepers, you know, dressed like, you know, maybe looked like this guy, you know, maybe he was not as blessed, like he's not as big as him, just skinny. And the guy just said, well, to show you, he said, I, I just want to give you something. I just please pray for me. And I prayed for him. To show you what I thought he gave me, I told my driver, I said, put in the car the front seat. Because it was an envelope, I knew it was money. I said, put it in the kind of front seat, put it in the kind of front seat, put it there. You know, and the car park is open. So our car park is not like a special car park, like your church that is covered. No, it was open the car park. So, I mean, you know, because in my mind, maybe 100,000, maybe, you know, because just because I'm sometimes not as spiritual as I should be, I should not be looking at like, oh, you know, I can look and see how it was packed. So as I was going home, to show how I thought about it, I was trying to buy a salad. So I checked my wallet. I said, oh, I didn't get my wallet for prayers. I said, let me re- open this money and remove money to buy a salad. And it was actually, you know, hundreds. But it was just 100,000, 100 bills and almost $100,000. I said, who gave me this money? I've been looking for that guy. It's one year. I have not yet seen him again. I said, how can someone give me this amount of money and I can never find him again? The Lord brought it to me. You are going to have resources. You start asking, Lord, what should I do with this one? (laughs) And Father, I'm praying for all of the business people here. I'm praying for all of the career people here. I'm praying for all of the ministry people here. The Bible says, The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. It says, Since I was young, now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Neither have I seen a seed begging for bread. I'm asking that there will be a mighty change in financial status. I'm asking for financial miracles. I'm asking for business breakthroughs. I'm asking for business increases. I declare over you that the biggest deals in your state, in your field, will come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, all of you that are seeking for funding for your project, the Lord will bring it to you by free cost. The Lord will bring it to you by free cost. The Lord will raise up men in the south. He will raise up men in the east. He will raise up men in the west to pay for your cost. Anywhere you are proven in stock, the angel of God will fight up heaven and begin to move things in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, your success will not be epileptic. start and I pray I stretch forth my hands to anyone here having cancer dealing with barrenness infertility dealing with PCOS leukemia lupus 
hepatitis B, HIV, autism, cerebral palsy, children behind developmental ages. You devil of darkness, I command in the name of Jesus, loose their bodies now. And right now, let the healing virtue, let the transmission from here, from here. And right now, receive healing. Receive healing. I command the cancer to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in Jesus' mighty name. There's a certain Osazu something. I'm, I'm not able to pronounce what I see in my streets. Osazu something. And there's this, you've just been, it's it's a payment, it's a payment thing. And you've just been going around that cycle. And the Lord is saying that I should say to you, in this second quarter, you're stepping into a season of where there would just be a lot of recompense in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And soaring glasses, I just believe the Lord I should tell you that it's time to step into that next level. You know, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pastor Nat, let's welcome Pastor Nat. It's been such a blessing to us. Walk of grace <laughs> to receive, but I pray for grateful for your grace and because of how you pour. We have come to sing this song out in praise. It simply says.
my best part. I made a way. Too sweet, oh. 